Hi guys, it's Big Z here again from Yes2Chat and today I have a video for you where I'll be fixing my 15 years old trade mill. My trade mill brand is York and there is an issue with uh, the trade mill platform which I'm going to replace with a new platform. So what exactly is the issue with my trade mill? Underneath this trade mill belt there is a platform and this platform is broken. You can see when I step on the platform it's actually not firm anymore. It's very soft and very unstable comparing to the other parts of the trade mill where when I step on it you can see how firm it is but not in the middle anymore so obviously the platform is damaged. To fix the platform it's actually not as difficult. I show you a few simple steps and if you follow them you should be able to fix your trade mill. Just a quick note I will not be replacing the trade mill belt I'll be only replacing trade mill platform but I will give you some guidance during the video on how to replace the trade mill belt as well. We will need a couple of tools to replace the trade mill platform. First one is uh, Phillips screwdriver and second one is hex key. We will also need a new trade mill platform. In relation to the platform itself, it's probably worth mentioning two main things. First, you have to make sure you have the right size of the platform because not every trade mill is the same and obviously that applies also for the platforms. And second thing is the material. In relation to the material, what you need is a laminate. Uh, some may think that uh, plywood or melamine or laminated MDF could do the job, but it's actually not the case. What you need is a material which is uh, very flexible but also very firm and that's exactly what laminate is. You also need a platform which is uh, smooth because this goes underneath the trade mill, trade mill belt and uh, you don't obviously want something what could damage the trade mill belt. To get the measurements of my platform, what I did, I removed the platform from the trade mill and then looked online for a matching product. It actually wasn't as simple. There is not many spare parts for 15 years old trade mill. So I did actually not find exactly the same platform. But what I did find is a supplier of a trade mill platforms and they provided me with a piece of laminate and then I trimmed this piece of laminate to the uh, required size. So that's all we need to know to get started. So let's get into it. Okay, so first thing we need to do, we need to remove this safety key from the trade mill and switch the trade, trade mill off. And unplug the trade mill from the electricity. What we will do now, we will remove this top part of the trade mill. It's fixed by four screws, one, two, three and four. So let's go ahead remove these four screws now we can remove the whole top part of the trade mill now we need to lift the trade mill And remove these two screws holding the back part of the trade mill. Once we're done, we can easily slide out back parts of the trade mill. 
So what we need to do now, we just need to remove these two brackets, holding the belt in the position. We just use Phillips screwdriver to do that. Now we can put the treadmill back into the horizontal position and remove these two screws holding these side parts of the treadmill. Now we can simply push and slide these two parts out of the treadmill. Just make sure there is plenty of room behind the treadmill. To be able to get access to the platform, which is underneath the trade mill belt, we need to lo loosen this belt and then unscrew these eight screws holding the platform in place and simply remove the platform from underneath the belt. To loosen out the Trade mill belt, there are two screws at the back of the trade mill. We use our hex key and unscrew these two screws. When doing this, just make sure you do it bit by bit. For each side. Now you can see how loose the belt is and it gives us access to the platform underneath. And now we will use Phillips screwdriver and unscrew all screws holding the platform in place. Once done, we can simply just lift the platform and slide it out of the trade mill. And here you can see the damage being done on that platform. Once we remove the platform, you can notice there are these rubber suspensions. These Two in the middle, they are loose, and these two at the front, they are fixed to the structure of the treadmill, and there are actually no suspensions at the back of the treadmill. So once we use the new platform, we have to make sure all these are in place. So this is the original deck, and uh, as you remember, we removed in the beginning these two little brackets from the deck. So we also have to make sure that uh, we put these two brackets in the same position on the new platform as well. So the best, the best way of doing it would be probably take the measurement from the side of the platform and from the top of the platform and uh, make two holes exactly in the same position as we had on this original deck. Now we are ready to install the new platform. First, what we need to do, we just remove these middle suspensions. And slide the platform underneath the belt. Be very careful so you don't damage don't damage the belt and also make sure that you put the platform the shiny side up. Not the matte side up but the shiny side up.
Once we have the deck in a position, we can put these four suspensions in place and screw in all eight screws. Just in case you need to replace the belt as well, what you would do is you would unscrew these two hex key screws at the back and one at the front, lift these cylinders up, slide out the belt, replace with the new one and put it all back into the position. Before we straighten up the belt, what we need to do now, we need to lift the treadmill back up and put those two brackets back into place. Once we have these two brackets back in place, we can reposition the belt because it possibly moved while we were installing the deck so now we have to make sure it's back into the position and these two brackets are going to help us to repos reposition it Once done, we can use the hex key again and stretch up the belt. After placing the treadmill back into the horizontal position, we use the hex key and straighten up the belt. Just make sure it's equal on both sides. Looks like it's all working well. So now we are ready to place everything else back the same way as we did in the beginning. So we'll start with the sides, then we'll put the back parts back on the treadmill and last will be the top part covering the motor. The last thing you want to do before trying out is to take the silicon spray and spray underneath the belt to make it more slippery. And that is all guys, our old treadmill is ready to go again. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.